I'm going to show you how I make my Puerto Rican pastelón. And if you want to know what it is, it's like a lasagna with the uh, it's a fried plantain with ground beef. They are very very delicious. And you want to see this video? Stay tuned. Okay, and this is our ingredients for the Puerto Rican yellow plantain lasagna, we cogen pastelón de plátanos maduros, we cogen piñón, and I have two and a half pounds of the uh, ground beef, but depending on how much you're going to make, that's how much meat you're going to use, okay? We go, we're just going to prepare the meat first, you can have your, put your own flavors and your own taste, but I'm going to show you here how to make mine, that way you can have an idea, okay? I have in here sofrito, and sofrito is peppers, onions, fresh garlic, cilantro, etc. blend in a blender and I had a video on how to make sofrito. I have um, sazón con culantro, I have oregano and I have black pepper and you can put more seasoning if you want. One can of eight ounces of tomato sauce, some adobo or any type of seasoning and a beef bouillon. I have a skillet in here. And I'm going to put the meat in the um, skillet and I'm going to put no oil because this meat is going to release um, some oil. I'm just going to break the uh, meat with the um, wooden spatula. And now I'm going to add the sofrito. That way uh, the sofrito can be sauteed with the uh, beef. If you don't have sofrito, you can definitely cut some peppers, onion in pieces. A little bit of cilantro, whatever you want to put in there, okay? Let us add sauteed with the meat. Now I'm going to put the seasoning like oregano, um, black pepper, and an envelope of sazón con culantro achote. And I'm going to sprinkle some of the adobo. And adobo is, a, is like a Puerto Rican seasoning or Hispanic seasoning, whatever you want to call them. You can put seasoning salt or even salt. Now I'm going to put the uh, beef bouillon in there and make sure you break the bouillon cube because if not you can find some parts in your meat and you don't want that okay so put it in one side and cut it and then mix it up with the rest of the meat now I'm going to add the 8 ounces of tomato sauce And now I'm going to lower the heat to medium and let it cook the meat for probably 15 minutes until the, cook is, the meat is cooked. In here I have some yellow plantain. If you see this yellow plantain, they are very dark. So don't be scared. Um, that's the way I like mine. If you don't like it, because the way I like it like that is because they are very, very sweet when they are turning black. But it's, but it's good. When you open it, it's very good. And the plantain... When you see it that way, it's very sweet. But if you don't want to use it like that, go ahead and buy it just yellow, regular yellow plantain, okay? We're just going to remove the skin. We're going to cut the ends. And, and then even with the hands, you can remove the skin because they're very easy. And you're going to try to cut it in long um we're going to try to take probably three to four um, long um, slices, okay? And if for any reason you messed up and cut a little piece, don't worry. You still fry them and, and you're still going to use them. Now my meat is done. I just removed it and I'm going to cook the plantain in this skillet. I'm going to put some oil. And you're going to heat, heat it up, the oil. I'm going to use this. When the oil is hot, and then you're going to 
fry it and then fry it quickly so make sure it don't go nowhere just stay there and, and just you know cook it for probably for one minute and then turn it okay so now we're gonna place the um I already cut probably approximately like four to five plantain that's depend on your baking pan you're using okay I always buy like seven to ten plantain just in case so if I have any less stop I use it for another dish so I'm gonna fry it for a minute or two and then carefully you're gonna turn it and remember this is very sweet so it's a little bit hard to turn it if you have to use two um, fork go ahead and do it okay I already fry all my plantains and here I have a baking dish approximately this fat this um size small one if you if you have some of the plantain cut in small pieces go ahead and use it at the bottom you just put them together remember this is very sweet so it's gonna stick very well okay okay when you put one layer and you don't need to put nothing at the bottom of the pan because you fr already fried this so the grease is going to help not to stick and then we're going to put a layer of the meat some people put green beans the canned green bean if you want to do that you can do that just drain the water and put some green beans and some people put cheese like me i like it with cheese but if you don't like cheese you don't have to put the cheese okay so that's depend on you we're also going to use some eggs i use in char cheddar but before I have eggs, if you see I have three eggs, but I end up using like two. So you don't need too much eggs. We're just going to pour some eggs. And then we're going to add some cheese. i also going to use mozzarella cheese. So you can use whatever cheese you like if you're going to use cheese, okay? And now I'm going to go ahead and put the other layer of the uh, plantain. Try to put it together. And now we're going to put the uh, rest of the eggs on top. And I'm going to put more cheese on top. Then I'm preheating my oven at 350 degrees. And I'm going to place this in the oven for approximately 30 minutes. And then I'm going to finish putting the cheese and go to the oven. So I'm going to show you the final result after 30 to 40 minutes. Okay. After 35 minutes, my pasta long is done. It's bubbling and I'm just going to let it cool down a little bit. I'm going to cut it and I'm going to serve it. You can serve this with any salad. Sometimes in Puerto Rico, in Puerto Rico, we make some white rice and we serve it with, uh, with rice. Or you can serve it with a nice salad or just by itself. So you're going to cut it the size you like. And in here, you have the uh, pastelon or plantain casserole. I hope you guys like this video. If you like it, thumbs up. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos. So I see you on to the next video. Bye. God bless.